Hi, my name is Bob Grinier and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. Okay, so this is update 2 of Project Atomic Phoenix, resurrection and testing of BN2000 Brown Gas Generator. The system engineer has uh, given an update and it's quite exciting. Firstly, he has made some uh, decoding progress and uh, it's described in the live document. But essentially he's been uh, trying out a program called uh, Radair 2 and uh, other people that are interested in uh, looking at this, uh, it would be great if you could. It has all these kind of functions that it can do in terms of working out what's going on on the, the sort of uh, decompiled decode. And uh, he's provided this excellent uh, YouTube tutorial um, video by the developer of uh, uh, Red Air 2 um, on how to use the software. And uh, there's a bit of a text down here that you can look at and you can see what's going on. Um, so those people that are, uh, are capable of, uh, you know, investigating this, uh, it would be great if you could look in there and uh, give your comments on the forum. Uh, lastly, uh, he's done a smoke test. So he says, I tested the DC supply and voltages seem correct, so I plugged all of the boards together and powered the system up, minus the heavy current stuff, of course. It works! It did not seem to respond to panel push commands, but that might be a software check prior to allowing panel pushes. The reset button works. Okay, so there's all the boards uh, plugged in uh, together and ready to go. And uh, that's the display panel on, on the uh, uh, that was in the actual brown gas generator, but uh, separate at the moment for testing. So, yay! Uh, it looks like uh, it still, uh, at least on the uh, electronics uh, parts, work. So, uh, again, have a look through this document. If you've got any comments, uh, uh, please put them on ECAT World. Um, uh, we are also going to uh, link this document on um, the uh, quantumheat.org site on the thread there. And so, uh, people that want to make some specific comments there, um, and uh, to keep it all together, it would be great if you could do that. So thank you very much for your time, and I'll see you in the next update.